So we're gonna start the video with some motivational uh speaking from T Pain. Alright, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Two jobs, sixty hours a week. Right. No. Ah. So you're 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 mistaking work for hard work. You're mistaking work and time consumption for hard work. Cause I know motherfucking receptionists and all they do is sit at the lot sit sit in a chair in the lobby for sixty hours a week. That's all they do. But they still claim they work hard. When we talk about motherfuckers that get out and go through their motherfucking contacts every day and see who can I hit up today that's gonna benefit me? Who can I hit up today that's gonna fucking go to this shit? I need to drive across town. I need to drive to this other state. I need to go do this shit. I do, that's, that's the shit. Having a job, that's not working hard. You working hard for somebody else's money. You're making somebody else's company work better. When you work hard, you're working hard for yourself. If 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 you saying you work hard and you got two jobs and you work 60 Check. hours, the rest of them hours in the week need to be yours. And you need to work. That, that, that don't mean that, you know, outside of them 60 hours, that you get to rest. You don't get to rest outside of them 60 hours. Get your motherfucking ass. When you get off, you ain't off. You didn't just get off of your second job. You just clocked into your motherfucking job. You just clocked into your company. You didn't just clock out of the second job. You just clocked into your company. Start some Facts. shit that's going to benefit you and stop helping these motherfuckers that's already millionaires. You saying you got two, you got, you helping two millionaires. You helping two different people that got their shit together. You got two jobs and you, you got two jobs helping somebody that already got their shit together. You think that's the hard work? That ain't the hard work. The hard work was getting your ass to fucking help them with no benefits. The hard work was convincing somebody, uh, convincing a stranger to come make my company run by itself without me doing a fucking thing. That's the hard work. Getting the motherfucking company so big that they can just get you to come in and do the work for them. That's the motherfucking hard work. That's the goddamn hard work. Get your ass up and do something for you. Don't get off of work and then go to sleep. So you. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if God was trying to talk to me. I was laying in bed. I was laying in bed, and um, this video came up on my feed, on my YouTube page. And I was like, "Is this God trying to tell me something, or the universe trying to tell me something?" Cause um, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bruh. I was gonna stream today. Don't even run. I was gonna stream. I was gonna stream. I was gonna stream, bruh. I was. And I am. But I think this gave me more of a motivation to do so. Because I hear what he's saying. It's like sometimes life don't work in our favor. And I ain't trying to preach nothing like that. Dead ass. But I felt that shit, bro. Because I was like, damn, bro. I fuck with T-Pain. Like, I've been fucking with him since I was in middle school, bro. And it's like, I was like way back when, bro. I've been fucking with T-Pain, bro. And it's like... That's some real shit, man. That's some real shit, bro. It's like, even it's it's, it's easier said than done, bro. But I, I guess we just gotta work a little harder, man. Cause he's right. Like, we be so tired from work, bro, and we won't be wanting to really put in the work. And like, yo, we come work like we finish working like a eight hour shift or a twelve hour shift, and it's like I want to just go home and rest. So I could do it again tomorrow. Cause these bills don't stop. But he's right, dog. It's like, fuck, man. We just gotta grind a little harder, bro. That's what it is, man. We just and it, I think it's it's more like. We need to be consistent, bro, because that consistency is it will really take us far, bro. A motherfucker can be trash as fuck or something, bro. As long as he's consistent, I ain't going to say he ain't going gonna to make it, but at least he's going to be close enough to make it, bro. That's just my opinion, bro. That's that's what it is, man. I don't give a fuck. Like, I just feel like if we really put our mind to it, we'll, we'll, we'll get somewhere, even if it takes us a year or two or three. We just can't give up, man, for real. Like I said, I'm 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 just getting fresh into the streaming thing, so that's why I got these little delays, these little delays that's happening to me. But that's okay though. That's okay. That's okay. Cause um, God is great. My paper gonna be straight. Shout out to uh Troy Ave. <laughs> well, let's finish this up. Let's finish this up. You can go to the next one. Check. The fuck. Get up. Do your shit. Facts. Be overwhelmed. It's going to be overwhelming. It's going to be overwhelming. 
You know how I know it's going to be overwhelming? How you know? Because you got jobs. Because if it wasn't overwhelming, the CEO of the company you work for would be doing your fucking job itself. Damn. But he had to hire right. you, so he didn't have to do that shit. Because guess why? It's fucking overwhelming. Go do it. And this ain't no uh, Gary V shit like just telling you to go do it and I got a handout and shit. I actually, I work for my shit, for real. I mean, I'm sure Gary did too, but you know, small loan didn't help him. You know, yes. But <laughs> look, that shit, you know, like this is real yeah. shit. Like don't get off yeah. of work and then go to sleep. Like you ain't got nothing to work for for yourself. If you want something for yourself, you got to work for it. Just like the CEO that got you to work for him did. Same shit. Even if they got a handout, they got your ass to work for him. So he ain't got to do that job. Facts. How the fuck are you going to get some, how the fuck are you going to get your company big enough to convince somebody to do that job for you? To where you ain't got to do that shit no more. Even if it's printing t-shirts. Who are you going to get to print the t-shirt? You going to be printing t-shirts for the rest of your life? Or are you going to get your company big enough to where there's people ordering thousands of t-shirts at a time and you just ain't got the fucking time. So you just going, you just going, Oh, I got to grind. I got to grind. No, nigga, you going to motherfucking build this shit up and hire new people to get to get them get them to do the shit for you, and you just going to sit back and run the books. That's it. Like, what the... I don't understand, bro. Like... Uh, they tell... T-Pain is like that, um... That uncle, that brother, that dad that you wish you had in your corner. If you don't already have them. Let me say that. If you don't already have them. Because I keep it real with you. A motherfucker can tell you this shit all day, bro. And I'm I'm only saying this from experience, bro. Somebody will tell you something all day. You won't listen to them. But then when somebody else say that shit, it kind of hits a little different, bro. And don't get me wrong. I always take that shit with a grain. Like, a motherfucker will tell me something, and I'll listen to him. Don't get me wrong. This is just for me. I'm speaking for myself. This is just a reminder for me. But I've had some people out tell some shit. To my face turn red, I'll tell them something and they don't hear me. But then when somebody else tell them some shit, they listen to them. It's like, bro, I've been telling you this shit, bro. I've been telling you, like, was I saying it wrong? And I and, and granted, for me, I over explain shit. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I be wanting motherfuckers to understand me. Call me Sosa, call me Sammy. <laughs> you feel me? But, I mean, you know, some people just got to take it. You know, some people just... Learn things differently, bro. Tell you that's what hard work is. You go through a twelve. You go through a twelve-step program to go do to go make somebody else money. You go through a twelve-step program to go make somebody else money. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Make sure you go to school. Make sure you go to a good college so you can get a good job. Good job. What the fuck are you talking about? People gonna have to get a job with me. I'm doing the hiring. Get go. You want me to? Go, you want me to spend? 18 years of my life learning how to work for somebody else? Suck my dick. Suck my dick. You want me to spend 18 years of my motherfucking life to go learn how to put a suit on and work for somebody else? School don't fucking test your intelligence. And I'm, I'm not I'm not down in school, yeah, some but memory I'm just keeping shit. it real. School doesn't test your intelligence. School tests your memory. Yeah. School tests your motherfucking memory. That's it. And it and it and it and it it gets you used. It gets you used to sitting in one place for a whole day. That's what school is. School tests your motherfucking memory and it gets you used to sitting in one place for a whole day. So when you get out of school, you go work for somebody else and you can sit in one place for a whole day working for them and they make sure you can do your job for the whole day without getting distracted. Damn. Damn. I, you know how I found that out? You know how I found out that's what school how? was for? How you found because out? Because of how I fucking grew up. I got held back in the eighth grade. I got held back in the sixth grade and the eighth grade. I got held back in the sixth grade because I just didn't fucking like school at all. I just didn't like school. It just wasn't for me. It just wasn't a thing. But I went through with it. I did the second year of sixth grade, watch all my friends in the seventh grade, like go, you know what I'm saying, do all that shit. Then I got to the eighth grade, aced every test, killed my fucking grades, did everything I could fucking do. 
did the right thing. And then in the middle of my eighth grade year, my school implemented a fucking dress code. And they say you can wear you can wear anything you want. It, it wasn't like a suit and tie kind of shit. It was like you can wear anything you want. But you got to tuck your shirt in. Even if you wear a jersey, you got to tuck your jersey in. You wear That's shorts, weird. you got to tuck your shirt hey, in. Hey, hey, hey. Bro, no. I'm, this is when I was getting, like, real fucking fat. So anything I tucked in, my stomach was hanging over my motherfucking waist. And I didn't want to show. I'm a fucking kid in the eighth grade. I don't want to show no girls that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't tuck my shirt in. I didn't want to tuck my shirt in. Mr. Nigel, tuck your shirt in. Mr. Nigel, I'm going to tell you one more time. Tuck your shirt in. Sir, please don't make me tuck my shirt in. You're going to embarrass the fuck out of me for the rest of the year. Mr. Nigel, I'm tuck your shirt in. The last time they told me to tuck my shirt in was the last straw, but it was the it was the last two weeks of my eighth grade year. I had crazy good grades. I was, I was sleeping in class, and I was waking up and acing every test. The last two weeks of eighth grade, they suspended me. Because I didn't have my shirt tucked in. And that was the last two weeks of all the final exams and all the final Yo. tests and shit that counted the most. What's good, to your boy? What's good? What's good? What's good? I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead serious. All the shit at the end of the, the last two weeks of my eighth grade year, that's when all the fucking tests happened. I couldn't take the test. They suspended me. I would have had to repeat the eighth grade because I didn't tuck my fucking shirt in. I would have had to repeat the eighth grade because I didn't tuck my fucking shirt in. And my dad was like, fuck this shit. You're never going back to fucking school ever again. And here we are. And here we fucking are. So when I say. You squandered all your opportunities. I squandered all my opportunities. I could have just. I could have been working in a cubicle. Everybody that bre- everybody that made me feel like shit when they graduated high school is is fucking asking me for money on Facebook. <laughs> Not even gonna fucking lie to you. I wish I I wish I get I wish I couldn't keep it funky. I wish I I wish I wasn't as transparent than I am. Everybody that made me feel like shit when they graduated high school and I didn't. They asking me for money on Facebook. Damn. I'll give it right back to you. Oh, you'll give it right back? What? How are you going to give it right back? Oh, no, I'll give it money next week. I think it's just wait till next week then. You should have it. Hell no. What are you talking about? I mean, you're right. Well, life be life. I'll be trying, man. That's <laughs> all you can do, bro. That's all you can do. <sighs> Damn y'all. Life be life for real. I wish everybody success. I wish oh everybody that's on Twitch, anybody that's watching, anybody that streams, anybody that have their own thing going on for themselves. I really hope you guys get affiliate and partner. And you start making good money off of this shit. I wanna make money off of this. I wanna quit my job and stream full time. But I understand that I have to put time in. I got to put the time in. I got to wake my ass up and do that shit for real, man. So for anybody that's trying to that's trying to be a go-getter, bro, just do what you do. Just be the best at what you do, man, no matter what it is, man. Because the truth, the truth of the matter is, bro, not everybody can be an entrepreneur. Not anybody can, you know, have their own business. Not like That's just the truth, bro. People got to work for people. People can have their own jobs. People can... <laughs> It's 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 that's what it is. That's the truth of it, bro. Not everybody can be an entrepreneur, bro. And that's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. There's nothing wrong with that shit, bro. You feel me? That's there's nothing wrong with it, bro. 